And welcome to the super fun, awesome, happy time, there's a dog there show. My name is Gabor. Hey, welcome along. I'm Alex. We're going to check out the new synth from Boss. Yes. The SY200. Get away. Okay. Uh, big thank you to Ed and everyone yep. at Boss for sending this out to us. Uh, it's a little bit maybe darker than usual, but it's just so we, for the contrast of the screen, just so you can maybe hopefully see what it says on the screen. Yeah, it's pretty tricky to film these kind of LCD. LED, Screens. whatever they are. Yes. Uh, so good luck with that. Uh, hit, hit, hit like and subscribe on the channel. Give us a thumbs up, thing the notification bell, and stuff will happen. Yes, that'll be dandy. Yeah, so yeah. the SY two hundred. Uh, so as far as I know, it's kind of roughly the idea behind it is it's kind of like the SY one. Yeah. Which we did a video of. You know. It's up there somewhere. Um, and uh, but with presets basically, and a few maybe extra benefits. Cool. Should we do a quick uh, features rundown? Okay, so basically you have uh, the screen. Uh, you have this memory thing where you can scroll through the different presets. Uh, also, if you hold it in, you can make the number smaller and the name bigger. Or the other option is the number bigger and the name smaller. Whichever way you prefer. I guess it depends if you're working on presets or... Names. Names. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> to be a blankly obvious. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Then you have these three knobs, yep. which are tone, resonance, and depth knobs. Yep. Uh, so as you turn them, and again, I don't know how good you can see this or not, but you can see where the position is, where they were. So they were all at 50 at the moment, or that's 53. Uh, you can press them as well, and then it brings up the little screen as well. Just if you don't want to turn it, you press it to see you know so that's always kind of the same tone resonance depth sometimes one of them becomes pitch but it says it here as well depends on what what sound you're on and then underneath you have the d level which is the direct signal level you have the e level which is the effect level and you have variations so each sound each one of these sounds that you select here via this a rotary encoder has multiple variations so you you select the kind of if you don't want to use presets, you just select the kind of synth sound you want, and then you can select different variations of each sound. Or uh, we'll get to it later. There's uh, sequences and arpeggio arpeggios as well, and it say it selects variations of these uh, sequences or arpeggios. Pretty exciting. Isn't Pretty it? exciting. Then you have Pretty the menu exciting. button, which takes it to uh, the menu screen. Uh, menu screen, you can do things like well, look at that as well. Change the function of this knob. Uh, you can also, if you hook up an expression pedal, which we'll do later on as well, or uh, one of the Boss external uh, dual switches, you can have an extra two switches to control things and you can set up what you want them to do. Uh, you can also set uh, what you want the send return the effects loop to do. So at the moment we have a Boss angry driver in the effects loop um, and you can set what, how you want the effects loop to whether you want the effects loop to be part of your dry signal or not, you can set all that. You can set MIDI. So it's basically all your global, yep. and you can do a factory reset, uh, which you won't do. So that's basically your menu, right? And we won't touch it, Ed. We won't touch it because there's some of Ed's presets on there. <laughs> um, if you push both buttons down, that saves uh, whatever sound you have, and you can assign it to a certain bank and a certain number. Cool. Um, that's with both buttons. You can also lock parameters, so you can't accidentally knock it with those buttons as well. Um, and then you have the on off switch and you have the memory control switch now you can change what the switches do you can assign them to different things uh, if you for example using a MIDI controller you can do make it do different things so it doesn't necessarily have to be an on off and it doesn't necessarily have to be a memory or control thing uh, you also have MIDI so it's the mini uh, head, like headphone jack to MIDI you need one of those converters uh, you can change everything so if you use for example MIDI uh, controller or uh, like an ES8 or something like that to like a loop switcher that also has MIDI capabilities you can plug it in via MIDI and you can do changes patch changes and everything via MIDI and then in the back you also so you've got the inputs the uh, uh, send and return for the effects loop the output which is it's mono and also the control in so which you can either plug a expression pedal or like I said that um, like an external foot switch with two buttons in oh, cool and that's that Whew. All right. All right. So, should we look at a few sounds? Let's do that. So, let's just look at a couple of presets. So I think these are some awesome. presets of of um, Ed's when okay. he did a video. Uh, you can check. I don't, did he do it on doing Facebook? On I think it was on Facebook. Maybe Facebook. Maybe on Facebook. Uh, he did a video where he did a bunch of um, 
he went through a bunch of sort of 80s sounding songs and stuff and classic stuff like for example thrill bass which i wonder if that's thriller yeah do we need to bother with the setup we're just going as usual in mostronics m switcher which is done into the cherry tone otis mini 20 with the two notes Capsim, yep. Torpedo X, Capsim, uh, Captor X to Capsim. Um, and it's all mono at the moment. We might do stereo later on, but we'll see what we do. Okay, so that's that. So what I can, for example, now do is I can add some... So at the moment, the angry driver's off, so if I add direct level into it... It's just dry. Uh, it's just extra dry signal. Yeah. And then you can, t- can muck around with the tone, the resonance, the depth. Often the depth gives you almost like a um, sort of like a pulse width, pulse, pulse width thing where synth voices get slightly detuned, so you get that kind of sure. detune kind of sound. Uh, let's have a look at some variations. So this is, Ed's ha- Ed has it set on variation nine. Okay. So with this bass setting, there's 11 variations, for example. So if we go, let's go back to variation one. So, I mean, different variations. <laughs> uh, some of the sounds have like an envelope filter in it. That's what the depth does and the resonance does. So you can set, uh, but you know, but moving the tone and the resonance and the depth around, you can set the envelope. So you have different kind of filter sort of sound to it. Yep. Now let's have a look with this sound, uh, what he set this to. Okay. So if you play a note. So one of the things you can set it to is uh, hold, basically, right? Yeah. So it's it's a dual function switch. So if you press it quickly, uh, I think in this case what it does is it actually goes up. Oh no! Well, I think yeah, it, you can set it up differently. You can set it so it, if you press it quickly, it goes up or down on patches, and then if you hold it in longer, it does the sure. the hold. So in this case, I guess because it's doing a flashy thing like that, it's doing a hold function. Uh, but now, for example, we can also if you go into the menu. And if we find, and again, I don't know if you can see it or not, but uh, control function. So this is control one. So if we, if we go into this, so it's set to, okay, memory up. So it is, uh, it has, I guess you've got to actually hold it in for longer for it to happen. But um, if you, so hang on. So if we hold it in for longer now. Okay. So if you, you've got to hold it in for longer to switch between the two. So you kind of right. push it in and now it just, if I pr- press it, it goes up through the presets. Yep. Uh, I don't know, but, but let's go to wherever, I don't know. Modern Warrior, let's go to that. If I hold it in again, it 
starts flashing now. So now it's whatever it's set to. Control. Right? So this is the control function. It's a control function. And that you can set it to either be globally or you can set it to do it per parameter. Yep. So you go to, oh, not per parameter, per preset. Yeah. So one preset, it may have one function and a different preset it has a different function. If you hook up the external foot switch with, uh, with two switches, you can have three different functions basically hooked up to it. Or via MIDI, you have even more. So, uh, so the other thing you can, for example, do with this now, we can select, um, so for example, now uh, with this, it does a pitch thing, right? Mm -hmm. So for example, now, uh, if we hold it in now, so now if, if you play, whatever that sound is, because there's a different sound now. So we, it's set, so it bends up an octave. Yeah. And then if you push it again, it goes down the octave. Uh, it's so not, that's it's not even annoying. No, uh, and you can, of course, uh, you can also hang on with this one. You can also change it, so it doesn't have to be an octave. It can be eleven, eleven, <laughs> just to just to make it even more fun for you, Alex. <laughs> so you can set it to how many semitones you want it to be, up to how many uh, far does it go? Twenty-four. So two octaves up. You can odd, go. Odd number is not good, is it? No, and you can go down twenty-four as well. So if you really want, you can go super low. Um, uh, and then you can set it to, um, so at the moment it's set to, so it goes, if you hold it in, you, if, if it's set to memory, it goes up to the next, um, so from one to two, from two to three, yep. and pitch bending, but then you can also set it to, um, oh, so this is now, actually, if I move over to that, this here you can set up control two and control three. Um, but if I move this, oh, hang on, this one, that's one. So you can have it also as a tap tempo. So for example, if you have arpeggios and sequences, you can tap it so to see it goes in, in time. Yep. Uh, then you can also set it now to, you can set it to a preset tempo. So it goes to, for example, in this case, 240 BPM if you push it, right? So you can set it to a certain tempo that you press it and then it locks into a certain tempo. Cool. Uh, you can also now, so it's, uh, memory up and on so you can actually turn this off as an on off switch and make this the on off switch not necessarily this but if you have other controllers you can have that for example sitting in the corner you don't have to push it you set another controller to be on and off so you can actually assign the on off switch to a different control switch if that makes sense you can also set it uh in this case now to for memory to go down so if you press it it goes down uh and hold and so on and so on so you have all these different options of how you can set it uh, and that is on a preset per preset base, right? Yep. Cool. Uh, that's that. Uh, so let's. So that's what you can do with this. So let's have a look at a few more presets. So this was Modern Warrior. Let's look at Tear and Fear. <laughs> Some sort of band called Tears for Fears. So it has Tears and Fears in the name, yeah. yeah. Uh, Baba Who. That's a cool effect. Well, it's like, yeah, it's one of the sequels. Days. It's fun for days. For the whole family. Uh, so let's, I mean, let's uh, maybe have a, a final cut. <laughs> <laughs> not sure what the... Yeah. Uh, yeah. It 
It's a me. <laughs> <laughs> it's a me. Uh, it's like a Super Mario thing, I guess. It... So these are the presets, but uh, <laughs> what you can now do is you can kind of find any synth voice you want and then kind of look at the different variations. So what's, for sure. example, what's the kind of sound that you would like? What about start off something fairly simple like a pad type pad? Sort of swell thing? Well, how about we go to the one that's called pads then? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. And now we have all different variations. So let's look at a few different variations. I think that's the one. <laughs> oh, that's gorgeous. So let's just go for that one. What was that? Variation 11. And then, so for example, you can now, again, I think maybe that just freezes it. So if you play, because it's polyphonic too, so if you play a chord or something, or you've, like some sort of sequence. Or we can make it, haha, let's make it uh, go up. Because you could make it. Let's make it go up a fifth, because then you can have like a sequence and then it just goes up a fifth, like it's oh, like a, cool or fourth, like a fourth or fifth, what do you want to do? Fifth. Fifth? So how many semitones is that? Um, five. No. <laughs> seven. <laughs> is it seven? Uh, so if you're going from, One, two, three, four, from five, G to D. Seven. Seven? Okay, seven semitones, <laughs> we have to think about that. Wow. Okay, so now, for example, okay, so let's let's try that out. So now, for example, you have this. So, so you, you start playing whatever key you want to play. I so the sequence moves yeah. as you play. Anyway, yeah. I mean, it's just a silly thing. All right, we did a pad. What else do you want to do? What's another one you want to do? Um, I do like bass kind of synth sounds. Bass, bass synth? Yeah. Okay, let's find bass. So bass is over here. Uh, again, let's just turn that direct signal off. Let's find uh, some sort of a variation that, that we like. Something with a bit of attack. That one. Let's let's let's. I'll play around with the tone and resonance. Down an octave with that. That's cool. That's cool. Um, um, and I mean, that's the thing. And you can have a second parameter that does a different um, um, amount of semitones. Uh, and you can also, and let's try that now, you can plug in 
and in this case, El Cheapo brand uh, expression pedal. Mm -hmm. um, we can plug that in and we can assign that to the expression pedal. So should we try and do that? Let's try. So if we plug that into Nyo. It's a me. And then, it's a me, it's good. And then we're going to menu. So now we want the expression pedal function. So at the moment, the expression pedal is set to the level, of, to the volume. We turn the direct level off. So just set to that, right? And you can say what the minimum and maximum value is as well. Go. Cool. But we can now change it. Well, for example, you could change it to the dry level. So you could add in the level of the dry sound. And let's say we don't want uh, maximum to be 100. We want maximum to be, I don't know, 70. So you can blend that in if you want, right? Yeah, cool. But we can also... That's uh, cool. We didn't have to set anything up. No, no, it works. It just works. With this, it, it, with a lot of um, uh, uh, expression pedals, you have a polarity thing. And I've got exactly the same expression pedal at mm -hmm. home and I notice it works on the M audio setting, not the other setting. Okay. So um, that's, that's all I did. But so the next thing we can do, we could go to a thing called multi. So we can actually assign multiple things to it. Right? Cool. Let's do that. Um, so for example, let's set, so if you press enter now, uh, you can actually set any of these parameters to do anything in particular, right? Uh, so you can, for example, set, uh, um, you know, you want the tone at, at minimum setting, you want the tone to be right down, the resonance to be right down, and maybe the depth to be right up. Yeah. Right? And then page two is the direct level and the, uh, that level. So let's say we want the direct level off and we want the uh, effects level to be fairly high, right? Yeah. Then we press this. Now we've got to set the maximum level. So the ma maximum level, we want the, that level to go down a bit maybe and the dry level to go up. And we want, maybe not everything on full, but we want that red, maybe just about full and maybe that can go up like that, right? Okay. So now, and we press it again. Now we've got it completed. So now a whole bunch of parameters are all moving at the same time. So if we have it all the way down, it sounds like this. So you can set multiple parameters. You can assign them to do that, and it gradually blends between the two, which I think is pretty cool. Yeah, sweet. Um, so that's what you can do. To, that's what you can do with the expression pedal. Um, and like I said, if you get one of the boss uh, multi-button things, you can assign a whole bunch of different sounds to it, or a whole bunch of different things to it. So you can have two buttons to scroll up and down between uh, memory banks. You can have this one to do a control thing. You can have this to do something completely different. Um, via MIDI, you can do even more with that kind of stuff. Um, now, should we maybe plug in a few other things and get a few sounds going? Because, I mean, that's generally the overview of the pedal. Sure. Let's get a few sounds going. Let's go for sounds.
Alrighty, so uh, there you have it. That's the Boss SY200 with a bunch of sounds, went through all the stuff. Uh, big thank you to Ed and everyone at Boss once again for sending this out to us. And what should people yeah. do while they are riding the waves of synthesis on the internet? Wow. Uh, if you do that thing, um, <laughs> please also hit, check out the link below. There's links to Facebook, Instagram, a podcast, and a Facebook group chat. We'll hang out and chat about gear stuff. And if you do like what we do, please make sure to hit the like button and uh, mm. subscribe because about 90% of you people who watch this are not subscribed. So please do, if you made it this far in, please do subscribe. Thanks for hanging. We'll uh, see you soon. Catch ya.